Now, as I'm sitting here cleaning my silver, I wanted to have a little chat. Now, this is just my experience. I'm not saying anything to anybody else. I'm just saying it, it, this can't hurt. It can only help. Um, I've had acid reflux since, um, since my early 40s. And I used to take um, Zantac every day, twice a day, in the mornings and in the evenings. Um, and then I still couldn't sleep. I mean, the minute I laid down, it started. And it creeps up your throat and you can't sleep and it hurts and you're just freaking miserable. And, um, and so I did a little research on the computer about what was going on with acid reflux. And I found, actually, I found a book from the Mayo Clinic on digestion because I do have digestion problems. And so I found a book from the Mayo Clinic that I read about our digestive tract and what goes on there with that. And it explains something I already knew, but I never really thought about it. It says our mouths are the first process in the digestion, or it's the first step in the digestion process. And it's, and it's an extremely important step. And when you masticate your food, and masticate means chew it till it's liquid in your mouth, then uh, it makes it easy for your body to digest it because your saliva is already starting to digest it as soon as it gets mixed with the food. That's one of the reasons you should never dip your spoon into your pot of stew, eat it with your mouth and put that spoon back in to the pot because you now put your saliva in there and it starts breaking down the food. So that's why you should never put it from your mouth back into the pot because it'll make it spoil faster. Anyway, so what this book basically was saying was... Um, that you need to masticate your food. Now, I worked in corporate America from the time I was in my 20s until we moved to Washington, and that was right before my 40th birthday. And so, you know, you only had so much time to eat. And uh, so you'd drive somewhere and pick it up, and basically by the time you drove somewhere, picked it up, or walked somewhere, picked it up, ate it, you had about 15 minutes or 20 at tops, to eat your meal and so and so in today's society we tend to chomp chomp swallow you know you put a bite in there you chew it three four maybe five times and you swallow it well you're swallowing these big old honking pieces of food that your stomach is not designed to digest something that big and I found that if I take my time and um, chew that food until it's liquid in my mouth, which is not that easy to do because you're so in the habit of chomp, chomp, swallow that you have to really be conscious and make yourself um, chew that food well, that that helped my acid reflux. It almost took it completely away. Just doing that almost took all of my acid reflux away. I didn't have to take um, Zantac in the mornings. And just every once in a while, if I um, drank too many carbonated beverages during the day, I would take one in the evenings before I went to bed. Um, I did find that when I stopped drinking soda last year, that pretty much took care of the rest of my um, acid reflux. I so very rarely take a Zantac now. I mean, it's it's extremely rare. And um, I'm pretty darn sure 
that between masticating my food, chewing it till it's liquid in my mouth, and um, not drinking carbonated beverages, I've pretty much got my acid reflux under control. So, now if I eat something very acidic, like if I eat um, a bunch of citrus fruit or um, pasta sauce, tomato sauce, or something, you know, that's, that's a known cul culprit um, past, say, 6 o'clock in the evening, I will have some trouble. And I'll lay down and I'll feel the acid reflux starting and have to go take a Zantac in order to go to sleep. But, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt. You might want to give it a try. If you have acid reflux, you might want to give that a try. It might help. Um, try and stop Try and stop drinking uh, carbonated beverages. And uh, But that masticating your food, that's a big one. That's a really big one. Make a conscious effort to eat your food slowly. Put a a small bite in there, not some big old honking bite that's really, honest to God, five, you know, four or five bites. And uh, chew it till it's liquid in your, uh, in your mouth before you swallow it. And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm saying oh a lot. And you will find also that you will not eat as much that way too because you're taking your time and you're giving your stomach time to register that it's full and so as a as a side consequence of this masticating your food you will find that you lose weight because you're not eating as much um, because your stomach has time to tell your brain stop eating I'm full Anyway, I wanted to just have that little chat um, because a friend of mine, Linda, hi Linda, is having a, a, some issues with that. And um, I didn't want to have to type all this out. <laughs> In an email, it was just easier for me to make the video and have you watch it. That way I could tell you all about it. Thanks for watching. Bye.